Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for joining us once again. And um, so we just want to put out this video. It's going to be really, really awesome to learn this for yourself because, you know, we're always learning stuff every day. We're mm -hmm. learning new stuff. We're always, you know, engaging. We always want to learn new stuff. And we were approached by a couple people with some emails and, you know, other people that said that our, our logo, as you see here, which is the Merkava, and uh, actually had like a cube in it. And we've all heard of Metatron's cube and the dark cube. And, you know, so it concerned us, right? And Ariana was like upset and this one said that. And I was like, hold up, hold up. You know, it's not what people say. What do they know about the sacred geometry? You know, it, it doesn't matter what people say. It's what the actions are behind it, what the intention is. And I said there, my intention with this is we are putting out good products to help people. We're putting out good information. We talk to people. We want to be there to it's support people. It's all coming from love. It's all coming from love. The intention is pure. So we actually called up a star brother that we saw, um, I don't know, like a month or two ago. Yeah, right? more, it was last year. Last year? Yeah. Oh, okay. So sorry. So like November. November. So like four or five months ago, um, Britt Edwards who is actually one of the like leading people in the world on sacred geometry. And he just gave us an awesome, awesome interview. So stick around and watch this because he breaks down what the geometry is of this, what the geometry means of the black cube. And so people can understand because, yeah. you know, everyone's emotional. And when you, when you fire off emotions and you fire off fear, it's like, let's be real. We're helping people heal. Ariana's doing clearings. We're, we're stirring up people's energies and demons. Let's be real. So, of course, people are going to come at us. And we just know that's how it is. And it's okay. We love them for it. And so it teaches us. We just learned a lot yeah, from Brit. so much. Right? It's like. From all it, this. From all this. We learned a lot. So much. And we want to share the interview with you. So we're going to play it now. And it's like 30 minutes. And it's super, super informative. And it breaks it down. And, you know, the bottom line is what my gut instinct says. Always go with your gut. There's nothing wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with our intent. And, yeah, there's a cube here. There's a cube inside almost all sacred geometry. As he explained, the morphogenic field is filled with cubes. Uh, so that's just the fact of it. We're built on we're, we're built. The field is built cubes. on cubes. And he explains this and shows it and proves it and breaks it down. So it's an awesome video. And, you know, th there's, there's like th there shouldn't be any disruptance. You know, with us, we are team light. We are bringing in the real information. We're, we're going to continue to. Healing. Nothing's stopping our mission. Yeah. You know, we're bringing the healing, and that's just the facts of it. So watch this video. You know, we love everybody, and we hope you understand it. And listen, if you have questions, question the comments. Write us. Call us. Our phone number's on the website. You know, check us out, quantumcollective.world. Yeah, ask us, because we're here to, to communicate with you guys. This is Yes. And if we, if, we, if we don't know, we're going to go contact some of the top people in the world that I know and I've met over the last 15 years of me being in the spiritual community. And I know a lot of the top people in the world. That's why on our website, we're bringing you some of the best people, the best leaders. Join us Thursday night for our roundtable discussions we're doing. That's going to continue to build community. And we take action. We don't just like talk. We take action. And that's what this is about. And I'm going to do another video about the methane blue because we heard some stuff in the methane blue as well. Check this out. What I just discovered is blue, blue. explosion. Ready for this? Never mind. <laughs> Methylene blue actually derives, and it's been around for thousands of years, derives from the wild indigo plant. Imagine that. Indigo. The wild indigo plant, right? And yes, we synthesize it in a lab, right? Because you have to extract it. We don't have extraction equipment, so we get it from a lab. And pharmaceutical grade on our label means we get it from a pharmaceutical grade type of extraction, clean, it's a GMP facility. You have to have certifications. It's not done in our garage with a bucket of alcohol extraction. It's done clean. That's why we put out the best and purest products. That's what we stand by. So just know, I'm gonna put out another video on that. And it's it's amazing, the wild indigo plant. So oh, beautiful. and we're indigos. So so, just, so, so so now for people that are like, come on, let do your homework. And, and, you can listen to what we say, but do your own research. Yeah, I, I've been saying it for 15 years. 
always do your own research. We're here as guides. We're learning to. We're learning to, but like do your own research and let us know. You know, this is what the round table is about that we started. We want to learn from everybody. It's a communication so, system. Yes. It's not only one end. So so thank you for helping us learn more, everybody out there. Yeah, thank you. That, that made this happen. We love you. And check this video, this interview out we just did with Britt. And learn from it because it's super, super awesome. And we just want to put out more good information to educate people. Yeah. It's coming from the love in our hearts. And that's it. And if you can't, people can't see that, then maybe this channel ain't for you. That's okay. Yeah. That's all right. It's no problem. You know, a lot of a lot of channels have that. If you don't resonate with that, it's okay, you know, but just know that we're the real deal and we're gonna continue being we're it. We're coming from, from this. Here. It's from this. <laughs> and we got a lot to give. So so yeah. get ready. This is just the beginning. We're just now getting started. So we love y'all. Check out this interview. Check out quantumcollective.world. Check Thank out our you. stuff. Have a blessed one. Have a blessed one. Check this interview out. Being recorded. Of course. Okay, oh. so um, we designed our logo a couple years ago, and then we heard from a couple people that there was like the Metatron's cubited. So can you repeat? Can I can we show it to you? Yes. Yeah. I actually just looked at it when I clicked on the email. Was that y'all's logo? Yes. Okay, nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Nothing. Absolutely not. I see what they're talking about. Like, if you look at it from an angle, like I could see, like it looks like a, a cube, but it is a cube. It's, it's like on that angle, right? Yes, but what I'm saying is their definition of what Metatron's cube, what a dark cube is, that's all bullshit. Basically, what I've come to learn, and it's only bullshit because it was only a problem. If you were to only use hexagonal geometry and that geometry alone in your studies, because you have a crystal lattice, right? You're looking at a crystal lattice. If you look at it from corner view, which I actually have a handmade bracaba I made three years ago. Yes. And I love, right? So yes. I made this out of stainless steel three years ago, right? Wow. Okay. Now, look, this is the view that you're talking about. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Because it's a three. Right? Okay, but do they ever show you this view? No, I've seen that view. Before. Do they ever show you this view? No, they don't. They're no. only showing you one view. Okay, when it's stuck in that view, and this is the only view that you look at geometry, it limits your spatial perception. Okay, so I actually have a 3D drawing that I'm working on right now. Um. This is not regular hexagonal. This is if you were to take two squares, say, you know, you have a square here and a square here, and I were to take the corner and draw the diagonal of those two squares, that's called root three. Okay, if I have a square, um, let me get this right here. Hold on. Actually, I don't have a square, but I have this. So we have a square, right? Where it's actually a pyramid, but I'm proving a point by showing you this at the same time. Yes. If you imagine this is a flat square, right, with an X. If I was if this is one, this is one, this is one, this is one, the diagonal of that square would be two squared. So you see the little line with the two? You've seen that two square many times. That is 1.414. So if this is one, no matter if this is a thousand feet, 300 feet. 22 feet, it's one because it's equilateral. One, 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 one. The diagonal of it's two squared, which is a transcendental number. It does not end. It's 1.41415, blah, 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 like pi. It never ends. Hmm. It's an irrational value. So somehow whole number values, the diagonal of a square, any diagonal, no matter if you're on the other fucking side of the planet, it's going to be the same. Two squared, which is 1.414. It's irrational because it encodes three dimensional information. So when you see a square with an X, it's actually pyramid information. Why? Because 
this, this is one, that's one, that's one, that's one, that's one. It's all equilateral. This is an equilateral triangle, right? So we have an octahedron. These are all equilateral faces. So when you see a square, it's actually encoding, or when you see a square with an X, X marks the spot. Yeah. Okay, that's the spot. That's the tip. This in, the reason why it's transcendental because that tr irrational number that never end is actually encoding one. So whenever you see that square, if this is one point four and four, it's actually one and one, which is two. So this is actually two in three dimensional space. One plus one, that's two. But when you look at it from this point, it compresses that information flat and then it gets compressed into a diagonal axis, which is 1.414, which is 3.414. Whenever you see a circle, it's actually a sphere. So the reason why the radius is transcendental because it's encoding three-dimensional information. So when we have a, I actually have a, y'all ever watch Dragon Ball Z? Yes, <laughs> I love it. Oh my god! Uh, this is a uh, four or five. So if you see that it's this wide, it's actually sticking out in three dimensional space. That's what. That's why it's irrational. That's why a circle circumference is transcendental because it's not just a circle. It's encoded three dimensional space, right? So this this hexagonal geometry, paint a picture. Let's go back a couple million years. I don't know when, just a couple million. If I'm an alien species and this biological race evolved, right? How they evolved is through evolving their DNA. Well, how do they program their DNA? Oh, through the language of light and sound. What is the language of light and sound? Oh, geometry. Geometry is the language of light and sound. So hmm, if I want to limit their evolution, let me just give them one template of geometry for them to work with. Okay. Oh, so let me, uh, there's two templates. There's the hexagonal template, which is flat. So if you have a note pattern thing, just write down Euclidean, or if you just remember it, Euclidean. Euclidean means flat plane, flat plane geometry. It's a tessellation. It's tiling. So when you have a, a floor in your house, you want a geometry that is able to be repeated out throughout the whole house. That's tiling. It's a flat geometry. So you take hexagons, you put hexagons together, they're going to lay flat, right? So, so let's okay. so, sorry. Hexagons, flat tiling. Go ahead. No, go ahead. So, so when, when I had the, the logo design, um, I asked my friend to do a three-dimensional Merkaba. So that's where you get these other lines from. So your statement at the beginning was, when someone says this is Metatron's cube, or it's a dark cube, that's total bullshit. It, right, because that specific shape isn't even Metatron's cube. It's, that's not the same thing. If you go look up Metatron's cube, they're going to show spherical. It's the spherical uh, packings. That specific geometry itself is like a phone number. You change one letter, it's no longer that. It's something else. So what you have is not Metatron's cube. It's not that specific symbol. Even the specific symbol of Metatron's cube isn't going to fucking compact your Merkaba and crush your seed atom or none of that shit. It's just simply going All right. All right. Uh, These are sorry. equilateral triangles. There are four equilateral triangles to make this pyramid. If I was to put six equilateral triangles together, they were like flat. That's it. Yeah. It's cutting it's out. Cutting out. It's when cutting you out. Look at and yeah, what that, that means is when you look at hexagonal hexagon angles, equilateral triangles, you're actually looking at a flat grid. And I don't just mean that like geometrically, I mean physically. 
Brit, one moment. It's cutting okay. out, and we we couldn't like hear. One second. Let me see if this head. works. So can you repeat? Like, I can. We can even see, see you now. All right. How about now? It's still can you hear me? like frozen. I can hear you, but now it's completely frozen. Mm. Um, can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you, but here. the image is frozen. There you go. It's, you're moving now. Okay. All right. Well, I'm turning off my Wi-Fi on my other two. Boom. Okay. Let's see. Hold on. Close this YouTube. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sure, I'm good. Okay. All one right. Second, one second. Okay. Where's the other recording at? Then. All right, we're good now? Okay, we're good now, yes. Okay, I just had to turn off my other phone's Wi-Fi and everything. So, um, flat information. So just, this is really, really simple. I mean, this, this is like, uh, it's so simple, the simplicity is lost on people and they want it more complicated, but it's really not, okay? Where's my little pyramid I just had? Damn, did I just lose that already? <laughs> <laughs> I just had the damn pyramid in my hand, but I guess it just... Oh, here, I have another one. <laughs> Thankfully, I make many of them. <laughs> okay, so hexagons, equilateral triangles. Let's just... Equilateral triangle. All right. When you put three equilateral triangles together, you get a tetrahedron. You know what a tetrahedron is. A yes. three-sided pyramid. Yes. Okay. You put four of them together, you get a perfect 90-degree pyramid. It would have 45 degrees. Now this thing, this is an icosahedron. This is the water molecule. So this is five equilateral triangles put together so it sticks up. When you put six equilateral triangles together, it lays flat. So when you look at an equilateral triangle hexagon, yes, that is the geometry for a cube, but mathematically, metaphysically, physically, it's flat information. Okay. So, so, even, so though, even though this logo looks 3D, it is not related to Metatron's cube. It is not a, a dark Metatronic type of logo no, that, those that's are all harnessing any terms. bad energy. It's not harnessing negative that energy. Our life no. force. No. Okay. Well, okay, what they're talking about, they're talking about during a time period when these symbols were used and they were broadcasted with those, what you just said, those are the intentions that the Anunnaki were using during the times of the mystery schools and the initiations and all that. So if you see that, unless that those intentions were embedded in that geometry, you're not going to get those effects from that hey, geometry yes, unless hey. it was programmed. So unless you know the person who made that, oh, that's a dark wizard. He's trying to like fucking harness people energy and that's yeah. the symbol he uses. That's how that works. But if somebody's just posting it and well, it's just I, I know, I know Dylan, my it's friend just for like 15 years, Dylan, my star bro, he like he put a lot of love into this. I want. I was like, I want a logo that people right. let's activate them and people are gonna remember. So when he did this. It was like I've never seen like a three D one like that. I was like, wow, that's amazing. So his intention, right? Our intention, and it is our beautiful. Our intention putting this out is to heal people. Yeah. So that's yes, that's all that matters. Okay, to prove what I'm saying, you got four ingredients to work with dimensions or magic. You got shapes, geometry numbers colors sound that's it okay the medium of which you work with those four ingredients 
Okay, uh, numbers, the medium is structure, a linear sequence, like one, two, three, four, five, or a structure, like a matrix, like a four by four matrix. That's how you work with numbers. States, you work through intentions. What's your purpose, your intentions, and your encryption? Okay, sound is essence. Your, your being, your, your essence. Yeah. Yeah. Color is frequency. So frequency is the medium for light or colors. Essence is the medium for sound. Uh, intentions is the medium for shapes. And structures and sequences is the medium for numbers. Mm. That's it. So when somebody tells you, oh, yes, you made it, you just know straight off the back that one, they don't even know how geometry works. Because if they did, they would just simply tell you, oh, all you have to do is recode that geometry with your intentions. Yeah. That's it. Yes. It's that Thank simple. You, and Thank I don't mean that in a cliche way. I No, no, no. I mean that in a proven physicist now know that when you look at something, you restructure the molecular configuration of yes. that thing with your intentions. Like that's a proven science. Yeah. That's not just and, and, and Ariana, when she came to me this morning, she's like, oh my God, people wrote us that there's Metatron's I'm cube and, and she was crying. I was like, hold on. Our intention with this symbol is to heal people and help people. And our intention is light mm -hmm. and to bring oneness. I don't care what those people are saying because this ain't no Metatron dark cube. Look, I mean, look at it. And we wanted to hear it from third parties. And honestly, from you. go ahead. Like, no. So thank you for explaining it, yeah. that it is proven that this has nothing to do with that. It is not the sacred geometry they're referring to. Of course, and honestly, that's why I've been offline for 11 months, is because when I come back online, I will have mathematical proof for everything that I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? So I'm proving the Cathar grid mathematically. I'm proving the crystal spiral mathematically, because the only reason why Kelantics, and you know, I spoke on Kelantic science. Yes. The only reason why that's a theoretical science is because nobody has proven a wave function for that geometry. So until the math is proven, it's not taken seriously by any academia, not by physicists, not by mathematicians, not by meteorologists, not by anybody in the academic world. So until I speak their language, they can't hear me. They won't hear anybody. It'll just be woo-woo science. Yeah. So everything. And also I'm working on this geometry to prove it so that when I come back online, I'll have a paper, a peer review, a published paper so that nobody has to spend time arguing there are people like ariana don't have to go through emotions like that is it this made my girlfriend cry at one point you know what i'm saying so that was unnecessary for you to go through that emotional like yeah. trauma basically yeah. it's completely unnecessary yeah it's unnecessary yeah. it's unreasonable because once i come back online you would just be like, oh, go to Britt's uh, paper. It's published in 2023. You go to his link and click on that, read to that, then come back to me. And Once they get through reading my paper, there's no arguing it because it's the math, it's the metaphysics, it's the proven science. And, and something else that argue. I also want to ask you on as well. So like when she brought this to me as well, I said, well, first of all, if anyone became in fear because they thought that this logo is doing something or is metatronic the fear that yeah, they are in themselves project. is projecting their own trauma that is not healed and that has nothing to do with us as well yes 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 that's exactly what it and it's their own fear because they do not know because they have not embodied it they have not researched it they have not integrated it they have not experienced it beyond what somebody told them once i'm going through my own experience where i'm shooting lasers at crystals and i'm creating a geometry that is universal i didn't just come up with that the laser and the crystal created that so now i experience the geometry for myself so i know it you can't believe and know in the same time if you believe it, that means you don't know it. Once you know it, you don't have to believe it. Yeah. Because yeah. you know. It's like, it. it's like the, old, the old saying, like, actions speak louder than words, and vibration speaks louder than action. So we know that when people come at us, because what we're doing, Star Brother, is we're healing people. We're helping people. We're clearing. Ariana's doing amazing work we're clearing people. Doing spiritual deliverance. Doing spiritual deliverance, like, every day. So we're stirring up those demons in people. We know. 
of that course. this stuff coming at us is because those fuckers are mad because of the work right. we're doing. And we should expect this. This is what happened. If I said to her, if you're not getting attacked, then you ain't doing something right. Because if you're doing something right, right you know this shit's going to come. But also, you don't have to experience their attacks. They could just be fucking stirred up, but you don't have to yeah, uh, really them. interact with them. Really. I don't. People don't come on my page talking that nonsense. Why? Because I've established such solid grounding of my knowing. Yeah. And nobody's just going to come on my page and troll me. I don't deal with trolls. I don't even know what that's like because I speak at such a caliber yeah. that yeah. they're trolling they know they're wasting their time. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I want to pass along to people like you. So that like the thing about it, bro, honestly, is that really it's about embodying the frequency. And if they're not, this is next time somebody comes to you, you tell me, show me your hand drawn drawings of the geometry you drew yourself and then explain to me how it is. So if they're not hand drawing the geometry themselves, they can they cannot speak the language of geometry and i don't mean they even say this to you because if y'all not much in the drawers i mean this is a universal term why say i want to talk russian i make it speak russian just by verbally hearing it but i'm not going to be able to read it or write it i can't just sit down and just write russian just off the fly without yeah in Russian. So is people pick up on the language, know how to communicate just enough to communicate. But you can't sit there and write a book in their language and you can't read their language. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. People can talk and hear geometry, but they're not, they can't sit down and look at a, a geometrical a structure and then read it and like like if i was to show them this these are my i've done filled up this whole notebook and i'm just going to flip to a random page let's show you what my notes look like and this is somebody who studies geometry and these are my notes you know what i'm saying yeah. i got the sphere all the math of that all the math of the octahedron and my own cube which is, has wow. all the other shapes so if they if they can't show you a page that looks like that looks like this, you know what I'm saying? That yes. uh, wait, let me go to my previous page. This is my own like equation that I've come up with: form, function, and force. You know, I have all the. This is what a toroid is. It's just two spheres put together with its own two. That's what a akasha is. Akasha, it's just yeah. four spheres with their own don't. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a pillar. Uh, a disc, a, a plane, you know, everything rotates. So this, these are these are notes of somebody who studies geometry. I get my own percent. I actually don't believe that north and south are on the same pole. I actually believe that it's north and east and then south and west because north and south are on two different polarities, you know. So I have my own insights. And here goes the roots of the Qatar grid. You know what I'm saying? This is this is the square I was talking about. This is root two. Okay, well, root three is if I take the diagonal from here to here, which is those two squares, remember? So what I mean is this is one, or if this is one, this is 1.237, uh, or one, 2.237. This is one, this is 1.414. If this is one, this is 2.237. That's root three. So it's and, just, and just, just to make a point, like just in that picture you showed us, there's a square in there. And that's what I was saying to her. It's like, yeah, it's, there's a square, a when you look at it a certain way, it doesn't mean that it's a Metatronic cube artist in nope. magic because it's a, it's a square. That's and a actually, basic, you know, like, you it's know. A platon what a platonic solids. Because they were talking and that's about the same thing. Like what I'm about to show you right here, look, everything is a cube. That's actually a star tetrahedron. So this it's a cube. Look, it's watch. Yeah. yeah. Look, there has six X's. An X on the top face, X on the bottom face, X on the four sides. This is a cube. All you have to do is draw the line down. Look, mm -hmm. that's what a star tetrahedron is. Yeah. It's a cube, right? Now what? Prove it even further. 
Awesome. So, like I said, you tell somebody to show you their notes, and if they're not able to, you know, pull out their notes and show you what they mapped out, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I'm sorry. Okay, no, here we, goes. We just we just want to mind. hear it from someone like yourself that actually knows it because Sorry. people get so emotional when they see something, they just start spitting off. And and a lot of people can talk a lot of good stuff, but if you're not doing the work like you're doing and you're not shielding and all, living, all, it. living it and you're just talking it, you know, we're live, just talking it. We, you're we not reading it. or writing it. You're gonna get shit. Yeah. It's part you're of it. Right. Well, you just said it. You said they're able to talk. Remember what I said about the language? Anybody can talk, but tell them to show you what they've written and what they've read. Because what they've written and what they've read is the, not the same plane as talking. Yes. Anybody can talk. So I've actually drew out this diagram to, to prove the different pyramids inside of a cube. These are like my own discoveries. Wow. Wow, that's beautiful. That's awesome. That's beautiful. So these are compression pyramids. Okay, this is the root two. I mean, this is triangle. This is not. This is actually root three. This is the diagonal of the cube. This is the diagonal of the square. So this, this is all root three. This is the expansion. I meant uh, this is basically Merkaba. This is the magnetic. A uh, field which is compressing it to the center like a magnet. This is the electrical field expanding it to the edge, and this is a hybrid. This is them overlinked. You know, its tip is touching the base. Okay, this is all cubes. I hand drew these with hand. You know wow. what I'm saying? This by hand. So here goes another one right here. Uh, like this one right here. This is a wow. cube with a pyramid on each of its face. This is called a rhombic dodecahedron. Ooh. So you've heard of the regular dodecahedron. This is a rhombic dodecahedron, which is just simply a cube with a pyramid on each of its face. That's the full cathar grid. You know what I'm saying? So I, I broke down root. So the blue is the root two. The green is the root three. It touches all corners. Root two only touches the face. Wow. So that I mean, it's just that simple. It's all cubical. Everything is cubical. Cathar geometry is looking at the face of a cube. So this is Cathar perspective. Yes. This is Metatronic perspective. That's all it is. It's just these two perspectives of the holographic crystal lattice. And it's a language. It's an interface language. So the problem with the Metatronic at the time is that people were only drawing hexagonal geometry they were only writing hexagonal geometry they were only speaking that was the issue because that would limit the amount of information okay so if i show you uh this drawing where's that drawing at of all my cubes damn it everything just disappears right in front of me because of my... <laughs> oh right here <laughs> so i'm gonna show okay this is not equilateral triangle this is root three so if I was to show you this cube, and I would ask you, uh, this point right here, is it pointing towards you or away from you? It looks like it's towards you. Okay, it looks like it's towards you, but in reality, it's fucking flat. <laughs> uh -huh. So it's perception that gives dimensions. Okay, so when you're just looking at a geometry that it's hexagonal, it's uh -huh. cubical, your perception is always projecting this cube but reality is flat that's what i was and saying so when, so, when someone sees that there's a dark cube or metatron's cube it's their internal projection that's and perception, perception that's what they have. of of what it is it's, their reflection it's it's their inner yeah it's their reflection no that's it's awesome. it's the lack because they don't have knowledge so to feel that lack of knowledge they insert ignorance <laughs> ignorance just pure ignorance and they just if they was to illuminate by reading learning writing drawing building they wouldn't be inserting ignorance and fear they would be inserting knowledge and wisdom and integration and 
there's two terms, mutually exclusive, collectively exhaustive. Mutually exclusive means this and that cannot exist at the same time. In order for somebody to have to be right, somebody has to be wrong. That's mutually exclusive mentality. Mm. Collectively exhaustive means that you can be right and I can be right at the same time. In order for me to be right, nobody has to be wrong. Hexagonal geometry can exist the same time as octagonal square geometry. They are not mutually exclusive. You cannot just say this geometry is fucking metatronic and fuck that shit. And we're only going to do this geometry. That is the problem. That is why it was the problem, because people were separating these templates, the hexagonal flat plane Euclidean metatronic exactly. template and the octagonal square pyramid, you know, Cathara template. When reality, they're the same metatronic view, Cathara view, uh -huh. metatronic view, Cathara view, same thing. It's spatial perspective. Literally, it's like, oh, life is all perspective. No, literally, life is all perspective. Literally, however you look at uh, something is a metaphysical thing. It's not just a cliche spiritual thing. No, it's literally how you look at that. If you take glass, right? I have a thing of glass. Actually, I'll just show you instead of trying to explain it. And this is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. It's over here. Oh, let me go get this over here. <laughs> we love to learn. Show us. We want to learn. Okay, so I've been collecting a bunch of glass. Because, all right. So you see there's already your reflection on that. So it's not completely clear. It's completely right. You're turning glass and it becomes a mirror, a pure mirror right there. That point is pretty much a mirror. Okay. But when you turn it, that effect goes away. Well, really. So when you turn it at like say 20 degrees, that is called a Brewster angle, which is when the light polarizes and it's no longer refracted, but reflected. Okay. So this is the truth. This is also the truth. It's just the perspective of it. So when people are looking at something, they're thinking that this is me, when reality, this is me. But it's just a reflection of something clear and opaque and transparent. You know what I'm saying? This is also perception. People have their perception all skewed. And when they go to look at something, they're seeing something totally, totally yes. different. You know what I'm saying? Like, in reality, if they would exactly just look at it, it like a mirror. Yeah. That's, that's exactly it. what it's, it is. Because we know that that the information that came to us came from an energy that is looking at this in a, in a, in a, in a negative type of way. And that's exactly how we felt when, when right. the people said it, we're like, no, 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 I've never seen that. How come no one's ever seen that till, till now? And thousands of people have seen it and not one person has seen that. So now all of a sudden people see it, it's their perception. That's, that's it. That's all the perception. See, I the reason why I could speak about this so passionately because I used to be that guy. I used to be that person be like, oh, this metatronic finite fallen flower of life, dark flower. I used to be before I got educated. <laughs> Once I got educated by drawing it out myself, by building it, like actually building my fucking geometry in the form of pyramids and having these personal realizations like, oh, shit. Well, no, it's the same thing. But if I would have never built it and I would have never drew it, I would be in your inbox telling you the same dumb shit that that person telling you. I mean, I'm just going to be real with you. Yeah. So it's all a matter of embodiment and integration and education. Yes. That is it. Awesome. Well, thank you, Star Bro. I'm going to end the recording here because you wanted to really just, you know, get your opinion and get a third sure. party because we could say whatever we want to people, but until people sometimes hear it from, People like yourself that are really educated and versed and are doing the geometry yourself, which which I am not. We really appreciate your yeah, time and, you. and, and how you explain. Of it. course, thank you, thank you. Thank you so yeah, much. of course. Yeah, you can go ahead and it.